they set it up so you're going to have the chest on the pad. And although you can do it on any row, it was designed by the contours of the seat. You actually put your legs behind you, so it forces that torso to stay on the pad. So I'm going to get you to sit down, torso on the pad, shoot your legs out behind you. Yep. Now we've got a couple of different grip options here. I like using the upright grips. They're knurled. I just find that this is the, the position where I get the least amount of bicep. Now, could you reach this quite easily? Yeah. Okay. Now, we could put this down one, but I'm going to leave it here because once you pull your chest up, it's going to be close. But we can actually adjust the range. Chest up as high as you can, and you're just going to pull straight back. The arms are independent. Chops off nicely. It, it has there. a really flat strength curve. Again, there's almost no friction in these pendulum machines. They're so overbuilt. They're going to outlast me. Of course, when you buy a new, they'll paint them any color you want. So, got the red and black with the red pads. Excellent cage from very good form here. I also find on this particular row, even though obviously the biceps and forearms have to work, there's something about it, I get very little bicep involvement and it's all upper back for me. Yeah. yeah I could feel it probably because I worked my arms yesterday. Yeah. But more up here, yes. so more of that congestion, that contraction that you come back into. Yeah. Which feels great. Yeah. When, uh, when we started getting these pendrel machines, um, Eric McKay, you met the conference, yeah. I call, call him Mr. Pendrel. He was ahead of all of us on this. He's got every piece in his gym at Noble. And uh, like I said, he just knew that this was, was the stuff. And uh, the goal was to kind of get the big five in the pendulum line. So the row, the chest press, the pull down, the shoulder press. And we actually, we had the, the standing squat. And I also wanted to get the leg press. But now we've got the gripper. We got their uh, their version hip and back. They call it reverse glute ham. We got the leg curl on order and just it's just fantastic stuff. If I, if I was going to build brand new, you know, you company builds it, puts it in brand new, new flooring, do everything, it'd it's be the awesome. pencil, and yeah. that would be that would be my go-to. Like I said, the Nautilus Max, they're great, but it's all used now. You got to refurbish them. You got to got to check the bearings. You want to put bearings into the old Nautilus ones. These buy them, ship them. That's what you.